Hello everyone and welcome once again to another program of Prime Time. I'm your host Beverly and I hope you're having an enjoyable carnival. It is St. Martin's Carnival Come Experience Life. And so we have in studio today someone who's going to be talking about the Grand Parade and that's an integral part of carnival and we'll be hearing what's happening on those days and, but I'm not going to give it away. Stick around and we'll be back in a moment. This is Prime Time. At Najico, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like knowing you're covered when your house gets flooded. Getting your settlements quickly and fairly when a fire hits your home. And making sure your business can keep going even after an accident happens on site. At Najico, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. Let's get ready to rumble! It's the 2018 Soka Rumble Edition with 22 rounds of Hulton Soka. Who will boost that S on their chest? It all goes down on April 24th at the Carnival Village at 8 p.m. sharp. Witness the match of the season. Tickets are only $25 in advance, $30 at the gate. Get your tickets at Van Dorp, both locations, Tech Hub, and Adolphus Office Supply. This event is sponsored by the Telem Group of Companies, Artistic Tribe, Musicology, SCDF, Texaco, Genesis Music Group, India, and Oyster Bay. So Soka Rumble 2018, this is one experience. Experience you can't afford to miss. Bring it, St. Martin Stoker to the world. And so when I talk about Carnival Parade, I talk about one of the top bands, that is Rio Productions. And we have today the president, Brenda Watty of Rio Productions. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thank you for having me, Bev. Um, it's always nice to be uh, back in the studio. Mm -hmm. Usually it takes a year to the mm -hmm. date. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And here we are again. And here we are again. Yeah. And so this year is Metamorphosis? Metamorphosis, yes. Yeah. Uh, the changing from a, from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Um, and that actually was inspired, obviously, after, after Hurricane uh, Irma uh, and sort of represented St. Martin, you know, what, what will happen to St. Martin. Exactly. Uh, from rags to, to, to riches, mm. so to speak. Mm. Um, and uh, from, from the dust, mm. uh, you know, will rise the phoenix. So uh, that's why we chose. That's why we chose the theme metamorphosis. Oh, so let's go back and um, let's just go back and address the elephant in the room. Yeah. I have my sister here on vacation. She booked um, uh, almost nine months ago for her lighted parade, and um, it had to be postponed. Yes. Tell us about that because I know a lot of people. Who, all of us, I look forward. I'm, I can't take the sun anymore, but I really look forward yeah. to the lighted parade in the evening. And I and I look forward to it too. And it's something that that um, has grown tremendously, obviously, mm -hmm. in the last uh, in the last few years. You know, the, the hurricane really dealt us all a big blow. Mm -hmm. And the, um, the lighted parade is not just Rio. The lighted parade is also a lot of the, the corporate sponsors and partners that come together to make it a success. And um, like everybody mm -hmm. else, um, the, uh, you know, some of the corporate um, sponsors got, got severely damaged. And rather than push the envelope, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we came together and decided, okay, it's, it's probably a better idea to delay it, not, not necessarily to cancel it, because I don't, I don't want to cancel it, but uh, to delay it. Because I, the other thing I didn't want to do was to push for it to be happening last Saturday right. um, and it not be good. Because we've, mm -hmm. you know, we've created such such a product now that people come to expect a certain service, a certain level of of, um, of you know parade. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't want to I didn't want to mess around too much with that because we got a good thing going, mm -hmm. and like I said in consultation with the the corporate uh, partners, they decided as well that it's probably a better idea that we wait until later on during the year when they've you know everybody sorted out their businesses right. um, and we'll do a we'll do a lighted parade that's that's you know what everybody expects to have and I think um, you know I haven't identified the exact date but uh, we're thinking probably in July uh, before August Monday 
And the reason that we're doing that is because we want to be able to give something in the summer months when there's nothing going yeah, on. Right, exactly. You know, and, and the, the kids are not gone yet for school, and it's before August Monday, so you don't get, you know, you don't get part of that. So that's probably what's going to happen. But it's not canceled. But Bev, right. believe it or not, we uh -huh. had people calling us on Saturday saying, what time is the parade starting? For real? I swear to God. Oh. We had messages on Facebook and, and um, people asking, you know, where can I get shirts? We didn't get any shirts. No, no, well, no, no you're not going to get any shirts. shirts. <laughs> no shirts. You know? Not yet. But, and, and mm -hmm. then we, they'd say, well, why didn't you publish that? Well, we, we published did. it twice <laughs> in the newspaper and yeah. it was on Facebook, Facebook. you know, yeah. multiple times. Mm -hmm. But um, certainly it, it's something that, that people look forward to, especially... People like you, like you yeah. said, you you don't want to do the like the, the, the day parade anymore. Mm -hmm. like, the sun's too strong. Right, and, you know, yeah. the road is 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 long. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, so that's that's sort of why we do we do the um, the you know, we parade. lighted parade, mm -hmm. and it's to cater to a certain certain crowd, and, right. and it's safe, and mm -hmm. you know. So oh. we're not going to stop it. We've okay. we've just postponed it for a while. Yes. So let's talk about it. How challenging is it now? So okay, so we have lighted parade out of the way. Yeah. How challenging is it now to bring out the troop for the Grand Parade? Well, I, I'm going to tell you that for me this year, I'm, I, first of all, I, I got off to a very a late, late start. start. A very late start. Yeah. And, and <clears throat> I was so late, actually, In if I were realistic with myself, I should have actually canceled it. Um, and the reason that I got off to such a late start was due to the elections. The elections right. finished on the 26th, mm -hmm. um, you know, but after elections, you're, you know, doing stuff you're still you know accounting and, mm -hmm. and whatever you've got right. to do to, to finish all of that and it's not until the first week and I, I'm saying around the 7th of March that I actually started communicating in in and, you know in detail yeah and that's my super guys super in, late in Trinidad. so what I ended up doing is I ended up hiring a third producer so now Rio Productions actually has three um, design Dynamics. houses that are working toward these costumes. Because if not, I wouldn't make it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you, you put a limit on the numbers this year? 125. Or, or been, yes. Uh, Is that the same you did last year too? Oh, it's probably, it's probably about, the same? about the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did 125 because I felt that that's what I could manage given the late start. Um, I'm sold out. Um, I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. Um, one twenty-five. You know, that's a small amount. Yeah. So and I'm, how? And I'm done. I'm when done. you said that we are sold out, reactions. I originally, well, what what originally happened is that I figured I will start at a hundred. Mm -hmm. You know, because I didn't after the hurricane. You know, there are people that don't finances have, and all exactly, that stuff. Yes. There are people that don't have jobs or people that don't have homes. I figured I'll start at at a hundred, and that you know I right. should be able to cap it off at a hundred. And uh, that clearly, in the first two weeks, became evident that I couldn't stop at 100. And I added a section, and that brought me to the 125. Okay. And so I have so, five sections. Actually. So have you been turning people away? Yes. Yes. And un unfortunately, some people that actually have played with me for years. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Your old timers, as we would say. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. But that's, that, you see, that's, that's the brand. That's the brand. Rio yeah. is a brand. Rio, mm -hmm. the people that play with Rio... Bev, I, I do not have a prototype. I did not have a launch party. I have nothing on Facebook to show anybody. And we are today, what, the 7th, the 8th <laughs> of April? Yeah. I have nothing to show. But, but people that register with me, they know. They know that mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Right. They're going to get a nice costume. Yeah. They're going to be well treated on the road. Mm -hmm. They're going to eat. They're going to drink. They're going to be secure. And they're going to have good fun. music yeah. for two days straight. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll take a break and then we come back. Let's talk a little bit about the costumes. Yes. I know um, we're not going to show too much. Yeah. Maybe we show a little bit from what happened last year. Yes. We'll talk about the costumes. Well, I have nothing to show you for this year. <laughs> yeah, so I know. Have <laughs> we have to look at what happened last year. Yeah. And did you show them anything last year? And it came out to be something really fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. we'll take a break and then we come back and we we'll talk about that. Thank you. Stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment. All across St. Martin are switching to a more rewarding experience. The Whip MasterCard Fun Miles credit card, better known as My Card. Earn one fun mile for every $2 spent, even abroad and online. This will quickly get you a ton of fun miles to redeem for travel, shopping, food, fuel, and much more. 
but there's more to my card. Worldwide acceptance, an EMV chip for extra security, and 250 free fun miles with first use. Switch to my card today at WIB. A cruise is a great adventure. Not only for passengers, also for us. The Port of St. Martin. Our port always reflected the needs and aspirations of the time. From the first to the 1.75 millionth passenger in 2013. Our cruise story started in 1963 with our first cruise passenger. 50 great years later, 20 million passengers later, thousands of cruise berths later, we've become the leading port in the Caribbean. 50 fantastic years, like a dream. The dream of Port St. Martin lives on and reinvents itself every day. The best is yet to come. At Travel Planners, we love what we do. Every day we help our clients plan their vacations. From honeymoons to family reunions, trade shows to conventions, school trips to sports tournaments. Our agents at Travel Planners can help you make better, wiser decisions on travel destinations and cruises and find you the lowest fares. Make some memories with help from Travel Planners in Phillipsburg and on the Airport Road, Simpson Bay. Visit our website at Planners SXM and like us on Facebook at St. Martin Travel Planners. We take care of all your travel needs. Let's get ready to rumble! It's the 2018 Soka Rumble Edition with 22 rounds of up Ups in Soka. Who will boost that S on their chest? It all goes down on April 24th at the Carnival Village at 8 p.m. sharp. Witness the match of the season. Tickets are only $25 in advance, $30 at the gate. Get your tickets at Van Dorp, both locations, Tech Hub, and Adolphus Office Supply. This event is sponsored by the Telem Group of Companies, Artistic Tribe, Musicology, SCDF, Tactical, Genesis Music Group, Inya, and Oyster Bay. So Soka Rumble 2018, this is one experience. Experience you can't afford to miss. Bring it, say one stalker to the world. Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. We are actually in the midst of Carnival that opened um, a week or so ago, and the title for this year is Come Experience Life. And we have real productions in the house today. They are bringing out metamorphosis and it it has so many meanings to the to um to this title um so bren a lot of people and because i was in carnival in trinidad this year and i noticed a lot of people weren't using so many feathers they were using more like that 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 um material yes. that vol kind of a exactly. vol. yes um and <clears throat> and of course you know being butterflies we're going to have, have to use that material exactly. and um from what I've understood from the, the design teams, all of them actually, um, and I gave them pretty clear, you know, guidelines as to what, what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I've also had people say, yeah, but feathers again, feathers again. So we were going to this year try something a little bit mm -hmm. out of the box. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be as flamboyant as we normally yes. are. Um, and it's going to be as finished as we normally are, but um, we're going to try the, the material. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the material that you're going to see on the road is, is actually hand painted. It's hand sprayed. So every section oh, that's hand sprayed. has hand oh, sprayed my God. Uh, <clears throat> wings as part of their of the, 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 the costume. So everybody's going to be wearing wings? Everybody's going to well, a butterfly. Don't know what the guys are going to be wearing. Yeah, are they They're going to be the caterpillars? Like moths. Yeah, like moths, <laughs> you know, dark moths, brown, yeah, yeah exactly. black, <laughs> yeah, or the caterpillars. I kept yeah. asking any caterpillars. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, but you know, even when when the design teams and you look you look at the stuff that's being produced for Jamaica, you mm -hmm. look for the stuff that's being produced in Trinidad, Saint Vincent. The backpack backpacks are are, are right. you know with feathers. But the accents are not on the backpacks. The accents now are on the bathing suits, the crowns, the garters, 
that's where the accents are. Yeah. It's not mm -hmm. on the backpack. So um, we're, we're expecting to have to have something different on the road, which which I'm sure is going to be wow. appreciated. Mm -hmm. um, not only that, the wind with with some of these mm -hmm. these larger pieces becomes a bit um, of a challenge. Do you have like what they call a front line? Because yes. um, when I was playing mass in those days, we didn't know anything about a you front know, line. We knew about the Beth, king and queen, and then the different sections. Last year, <clears throat> we did only front line pieces. We had two two categories, mm -hmm. front line and special pieces. So, you know, oh, big, okay. big pieces. Right. And they sold very well. This year, I decided that I would revert to my mm -hmm. typical assortment, mm -hmm. which gave more of a baseline uh, right. offer, and then the, the, the front line, and then the special piece. Well, I think next year I'm going to just go back to my People were complaining. <laughs> no, we want it. Well, no, mm -hmm. we want, we don't want a basic piece. Mm -hmm. We want. And I was like, well, the reason I did this was mm -hmm. to try and accommodate right. for you know people's for budgets answer right now. Yes, you know. Um, but it, for carnival, people don't care. They want to. They want to be a certain way. They want to look a certain way, and that's that's fine. That's you know. What about choice the of colors? Choice of colors. Oh, we butterflies. Have, and that's it's, exactly it, Bev. It just yeah. lends itself so well mm -hmm. to, you know, the, the I mean, right. and literally what I did is I went on Pinterest and uh -huh. I, I chose the color combinations that I wanted right. um, of butterflies. And then I took, I made, I made mood boards for every section, given those colors, you know, mm -hmm. and then I sent those off to the right. different designers. And they design would do team. their design with that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But we're definitely, you're not going to miss us. You're not going to have to use your imagination. We are definitely going to be butterflies. Right. Oh, that, that should be something to see. Yeah. Spectacular. It's going to be beautiful, yeah. I'm sure. And what about music? I'm music. going to share again in Trinidad this year, um, as most years yeah. gone by, yeah. they are only on the DJs. Right. Um, well, we've, st we've, we've started a relationship with the XP band. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we have them on the road as well. And we also have King Kimbe. And he's right. very popular right. with, with our participants. Exactly. Right. So, um, and, and he will, we, our drink truck is drinks on the bottom and um, DJ King Kimbe will be at the top. At the top of it? Yeah. Wow, wow. So did you have to build a new drink truck this year? Yes. Because I know that's always a story every year yes. in preparation. I, both both uh, uh -huh. the drink truck as well as the music truck have to be built from scratch every year. Is it, every year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because those, those containers, those flat beds actually are put to use, you know, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are people um, bold enough to be using the wire bras? Because that's also very popular in Trinidad too now. Yes, 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 uh, yes. It's are people asking for wire bras? Yes. Yes, yes, it's you know, and and this this uh, you know, I was I was I'm I'm typically quite um, uh, strict with that. Mm -hmm. um, I, normally, I give somebody a wire bra if they can wear a wire bra because if not, it's uncomfortable, right. and then it becomes my problem. Right, you know, so uh, we wire bras are sort of strictly in, enforced. You know, if if I think that you can wear a, a wire bra, then you'll get the wire bra um, because those things break. Huh? Yeah, they can. Uh -huh. They can. It's wire. Yeah. He didn't want it to break because it's not very, they're not covering very much. Not a thought. Not a thought. <laughs> yeah. But um, but so far we've been lucky. So. You, you know what I also noticed too, um, in Carnival this year in Trinidad, the bathing suits. Mm -hmm. They all tell a story now. It's not yes. just one thing you pull on. No. It's the little stripes on the side, the high cuts, the and the, yeah, and the, yes. the cut out here and the, yes. in the bathing suits. Yes. Are you all following that trend? Oh, I know I saw you looking at some children that books. All right. Well, yeah. you don't have a choice. <clears throat> You know, the design teams are the ones that, uh -huh. that you know, and I, I work with a, with a group of, of girls from Angela, Angela's Nails. Right. And she has a group of uh, about 30 that are steady. She's been with me for about six years. Uh -huh. And uh, she comes with a group of, of girls. And it's actually quite quite nice working with her because she works in the same manner as I uh -huh. work. I so um, I get a lot of inspiration from her mm -hmm. because what she tends to do is she goes online and uh -huh. she says, "Okay, I'd like this. I'd like this. Have you seen this?" Well, you know, oh, so you up I, to, up, she up keeps me. Yeah, mm -hmm. she keeps me. Um, 
up to date on on the new trends and stuff like that. So I um and of course she she gets to be a, an integral part of what it is that her people will look like, you know. Wow. So uh but we we've really and truly we we've tried to be cutting edge and and you know just to to be on top of things because if not you lose your participants. Yeah, you do. You, you do. know you can't you can't be old school right. and expect to maintain maintain your participants. Exactly. So we're we're really trying to be modern and hip mm -hmm. and you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we we'll take a break and then we come back. Don't forget that you can view this program and all programs now on Facebook and YouTube and don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back in a moment. Stick around. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. The Daily Herald is my first source for up-to-date information and news. Putting together this program of prime time requires research and knowledge of current events. For local news, regional and international news, do read The Daily Herald. And so but no one really expected the, uh, the, the devastation from Hurricane Irma. Um, did, it ha did you have to to change everything, how you planned everything because oh, of yes. that. Oh, yes. Well, first of all, like everybody else, um, we suffered substantial damage yes. um, to our personal homes uh, and I would say to 80% of the businesses. Yes, yes. So we really, that it, it shocked us um, quite some because typically I'm, I'm ready to start the planning process in December. Right, you know, don't exactly. forget, I don't produce <clears throat> here. I exactly. produce in Trinidad. Right. You know, a lot of the new um, and up-and-coming um, participants now for Carnival, people that, that are people that actually produce locally, which I think is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I don't have the time, but more than that, I don't have the skill for that. That's not my skill set. Mm -hmm. I'm good at a few things, but that's not one of them. Right. You uh -huh. know, so I depend on my people in, in Trinidad to, to produce for me. And the problem with that if, is, of course, unless you give them directives, they can't start. Right, exactly. You know? And it's after, um, after the hurricane that I, I finally reached out to them, and they were shocked to hear from me. They said, what do you mean you're going to do carnival? And this mm -hmm. was like in early December. I said, well, you know, guys, the, the mm -hmm. people, St. Martin people, people are asking. they're asking for it. They're looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. We need it. We need it. It, it yeah, was yeah. as simple as that. Yeah. And... and um, it was one of them that said, you know, a good theme would be metamorphosis. And I said, you want to know something? That would be an excellent mm -hmm. theme. Mm -hmm. theme. So that's, that's how that came about. But, but indeed, normally I'm ready in, in, in December. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just that with everything that happened, I mean, now I find my days, I'm, I'm in construction, I'm, I'm, I'm supervising construction, I, mm -hmm. you know, and then the regular work continues right. and, mm -hmm. you know, we're in the season so there's there's a lot going on and again we have set the bar especially yeah. for those who play mm -hmm. mass with real productions we have set the bar at such a level that people don't you know i don't want to deceive them huh. and i don't want to, to mess around with their expectations so um after after elections came about um i i, I said Pat, I said, we got to get crack a lacking, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and clocks ticking and, and stuff. And again, my, my con the container leaves on the 19th. 
Right. They so, have, oh my God, they're not they're sleeping. On, they're, they uh, arrive here uh, on the 19th. Yes. Uh, no, the container leaves on the 19th, 19th. arrives on the 20, 21st, and my guys come in on the 21st as well, uh, and then they finish off finish what off. needs to be finished. So tell us what goes on behind the scenes, like um, organizing the makeup and oh the my body, God, we're right the body paint. We're right tell there us right now. about those body painters. Those Jeez. costumes do not look good unless you have a little body paint. Well, it certainly completes the look, mm -hmm. you know. Um, James Paul, who is the body painter, the authority in body painters yes. in, uh, in Trinidad, mm -hmm. is going to be here um, along with his team uh, to do the body painting, of course. And, um, you know, body paint, um, makeup, Up. that's all. As a matter of fact, that's we're in the throes of, of, of that right now, uh -huh. you know, getting the reservations in. And believe me, yeah, people come you in. What? You mm -hmm. send out emails, and and by the time you press send, and you start to you know work on something else, mm -hmm. the emails are coming, coming in. in. People book me, book me, book me. You know, so, so I have I've got four, four makeup artists. Four. Yeah, and this time because last time we run short, we ran sh uh, short of time. So this time we're going to start at ten at night, and work straight into the next day. I was going to ask day. you about the body paint. How early? Um, must you start to be able does James have to start to get everybody covered oh no James before? starts even <clears throat> earlier James starts at 4 4 in the afternoon the day before for the next for the next day and he, he's going to roll right into the into the next day wow yeah but we have to do that there's there's first of all it you know when you're doing a, a, a somebody with body paint it's several layers that they have to do yeah. they do a baseline and then they start to introduce some color and then introduce some more color and then they put the print and da, 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 you know they use stencils and stuff so it's it's mm. a, a process it is it so is. while they're basing you and you go off to dry they can then take another person and base them What's your best day? The first day or the second day? The second day. Oh, God. First day, you're too stressed, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh, you're too and, stressed. And so I know you use boots. How many boots? Oh, God. You know what I saw a lot in Trinidad this year, too? A lot of sneakers. I've been well, seeing I'm that. actually... A lot of sneakers. Gold I'm sneakers actually, and so. Um, I'm, I've invested in a pair of sneakers um, that I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for them to arrive. And because I think that's going to be the way. Yeah. Really and truly, because the boots, um, the boots are really they look uh, pretty. fun. They look pretty and mm -hmm. everything. But unless you have a comfortable pair of boots, yeah. going down front streets and the and uh -huh. and, and, and the the road, road is uneven. Yeah. The cobblestone is up in some areas. You break your neck on that, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, but definitely, my my second day is probably by far, I would say, the best day. That's when you you you've. More relaxed. You know, it's it's a fête accompli, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and that that day is actually more for me. Still you know? don't want to compete. No. Still don't want to compete. Yeah. And you want to keep on doing this more years and more years to come. Yeah, I'm actually hoping that that one day somebody will take it over. Mm -hmm. Like they got to keep the brand, of course. They got to yeah. make sure the brand is is well. You know, well Managing, taken care yeah. of. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Brent, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so program. very much, Ben. Wish you Thank all you. success and have a safe carnival and are a great you, production. Are you going to be here for carnival? Um, part of it. Okay, good. Yeah, for the, are you going to be here for the for the parade? Not sure. Oh, we mm, badly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens when school goes on vacation. I know, yeah. I know right. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching us. Have a safe carnival and may God bless you. I'll see you next week.